Good morning. Please rise and join me in saying the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Thank you. Coming up next on News in a Flash, music concerts announced, middle school dance coming, key club, speech, and sports. All this and more coming up next. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to this video edition of News in a Flash. I'm Caleb Hancock. And I'm Connor Keurig. We begin our newscast with this top story. There will be no elementary 4th and 5th grade homework club on December 14th, 15th, or 17th. If you have any questions, please see Mr. McClure. Are you looking for something to do next week in the evenings? Well, you are in luck. The middle school and high school choir concert is this coming Tuesday night on December 8th at 7 p.m. in the Burris Auditorium. And if that isn't enough, the 3rd to 5th grade orchestra and general music program will be Thursday, December 10th at 6.30 p.m. in the Burris Auditorium. So you can have two nights of great music to help calm your nerves for the upcoming finals. Who doesn't love cute little puppies or cuddly kittens? Come to the Candyland Dance where donations will, get, will provide food and warm beds for the animals spending the holidays at the Muncie Animal Shelter. The Middle School Student Council is hosting Candyland Dance on Friday, December 11th from 6 to 8 p.m. in the Burris Cafeteria. The dance is open to all Burris Middle School students, and there is a suggested donation of $2 to around $5, where the proceeds will go to benefit the Muncie Animal Shelter. We look forward to beginning the holidays with you. There will be a call-out meeting for all high school students interested in reinstating Key Club on Monday, December 14th in room 235. The meeting will begin promptly at 3.05 and last no longer than a half hour. More details are to come next week. Do you want to see Owen Schrock as Starbright, Starlight, the first star you see tonight? Want to see him as a star you can wish on and have your wishes come true? Well, if you do, or you just want to see a funny and touching story about the world's greatest dancing bear, in this theater for young audiences classic, come see the Arkansas Bear Friday and Saturday at 7.30 or Sunday at 2. Cost for students is $3. Congratulations to the Burris slash Indiana Academy Theater Program. They are going to state with this fall's production of The Laramai Project 10 years later. They received the Best Overall Acting Company Award, an Additional Acting uh, Distinction Award, and the Second Place Trophy. They will compete at state January 22nd through 24th on the Red Skeleton Theater stage at Vincennes University. Go Burris Theater! The Burris speech team will travel to Fort Wayne, Northrop this weekend to resume their season after the short Thanksgiving break. Owl fans, if you ordered any owlwear last month, <laughs> please see Mr. Walderick to collect your items. You know Caleb. I get my wisdom teeth out in about an hour, so we should hurry through these birthdays. All right, well then let's see which one of our friends have a birthday this week. Any of your friends were on that list, be sure to wish them a very happy birthday. And now it's time for Calvin Walter Eisman with this week's sports. Thanks, Connor. Good morning, everyone. I'm Calvin Walter Heinzman with this week's sports update. 
Tomorrow, Burris will host the first ever Pioneer Academic Athletic Conference Swimming and Diving Championship at Llewellyn Pool with a start time of 11 a.m. Admission will be $5 and season passes will be accepted. Last Monday, the boys' middle school team split the 7th and 8th grade game against conference opponent Liberty Christian. Last Tuesday, the boys' basketball team lost to South Adams by a score of 80-61, to and the record now stands at 1-2. to The boys will play a home opener tonight against county foe Yorktown High School with JV scheduled to tip off at 6 o'clock p.m. and varsity to follow. The student team for tomorrow is blue and gold, so please come out and support our team. Also, last Tuesday, the Lady Owls varsity basketball team fell to Wapahani 28-88. Sophomore Emily Locke hit two three-pointers for the Owls. Last Wednesday, the boys' middle school basketball team lost 7th grade to Daleville by four points and defeated the 8th grade team team by six. That's all for this week's sports update. I'm Calvin Walter Heintzelman. <laughs> As always, be sure to come out and support all of our fine athletes. Back to you, Caleb. Thanks, Calvin. Now it's time for our weekly visit with Ms. Mogerman from the Burris Counseling Center. Hello, I'm Julie Mogerman with the Burris Counseling Center announcements for the week of December 4, 2015. Proposal forms for spring internships and independent studies are due to me today in the Counseling Center. Students interested in college classes for spring semester should also be working with me now on permission and registration. All scheduled changes for second semester should be arranged before we leave for winter break. Schedule changes once second semester begins will be discouraged, so please make any requests for desired changes now or you may not be able to have a schedule change. The Burris Honor Society induction ceremony will be held on Wednesday, December 9th at 7 o'clock in the Burris Auditorium. Honor Society officers Kaylin Jones, Hannah Bolander, Claire Mormon, and Connor Keurig will be presenting the program along with our special guest speaker, Mr. Byram. Everyone is welcome to attend to celebrate Burris's new Honor Society members. Light refreshments will be served after, after the ceremony. We hope you will join us for this celebration. Ball State University will be hosting Indiana's 6th District Con Congressional Leadership Academy on Saturday, April 9, 2016. Students can connect with business leaders, Ball State faculty, and experts from private and public sectors, as well as engage with hands-on experience and interactive panels. This year's panels focus on one of four areas, bioscience, cybersecurity, entrepreneurship, and homeland security. Burris is able to nominate two bright, talented juniors, so interested students should talk with me about a nomination by January 22nd. Applications are now available for the 2015-2016 Optimist International Essay Contest. This year's official topic is Lead by Example, Reality or Fiction. Participants should be 18 or younger and are required to write an essay on the given topic between 700 and 800 words. The, the submitted essays will be judged and the winners announced. First place winners will receive a $2,500 college scholarship to the school of their choice. Students who wish to enter can come down to the Counseling Center to pick up a list of rules and an application for the contest or to have any questions answered. The due date for this essay is January 4th, 2016. Applications are available for the Stephen J. Brady Stop Hunger Scholarship. It's worth $5,000 and is due on February 5th, 2015. Students can retrieve applications from the website listed below. The Prindle Institute of Ethics is holding an essay contest for all high school students on ethics-related topics. They will award five prizes of $300 each for the best written essay. This year's prompt is, does the, uni uni does the United States have a moral responsibility to intervene in countries where human rights violations are occurring? The deadline to submit completed essays is February 1st, 2016. The website, the website to find the guidelines, rules, and submission information is prindlepost.org slash high school essay. Manchester University is still accepting college applications. For more information about Manchester, please come to the Counseling Center. The answer to last week's question, the, the question was how much did the heaviest turkey ever weigh, was B, 86 pounds. This week's winners were Victoria Lembo, Elijah Allen, Gregory Gatos, Nicholas McDonald, and Sruthi Devarapalli. Please come to the Counseling Center to get your prize. This week's question of the week is Star Wars themed, courtesy of middle school student Eli Groves. Who was in charge of the Empire's ground attack on Hoth in the fifth movie? 
A. Grand Moff Tarkin. B. General Veers. C. Darth Vader. Or D. Captain Needs. Please come to the Counseling Center with your answer to the question of the week and any questions about these announcements. Thank you for listening and have a fantastic week. Thanks, Mrs. Mogerman, for those very helpful announcements. Well, you know what time it is now. Time for Noah Gaither's Tip of the Week. Noah? No, no, that's you. Did you know that Larry Hot Dogs invented the hot dogs in 1938? That's pretty crazy, right? He also invented Barbie dolls and barbecues. Can you believe that? I'm, I'm pretty sure all of those are not correct whatsoever. Also, uh, Connor had to go get his wisdom teeth taken out. He won't be joining me for the rest of this episode. So, that's all we have for this episode. I'm Caleb Hancock, and this empty seat was Connor Couric. See you guys next week.